It was one of the most popular arcade games of the early 80s. For reasons unbeknownst to me, get out the pink bismuth, it's burger time! Released to arcades in 1982, Burger Time was a huge hit for a company called Data East, the same people behind classics like Bad Dudes and one of Kevin's all-time favorites, Karnov, or as Kevin calls it, Karnov the Unholy. And Data East also did a pinball table based on Back to the Future, so you know, they're okay in my book. Of course, that was before the company went bankrupt in 2003, when it was forced to sell its entire catalog of arcade classics, a group into which Burger Time inexplicably finds itself. Fortunately, a Japanese company called G-Mode bought the rights to most of the Data East stuff, and in 2010, they gave us this. Published by Majesco, this is Burger Time as it appears on the Data East Arcade Classics Collection for the Nintendo Wii. This is an exact port of the original arcade game, which is, you know, which is good news, I suppose. I mean, if you like torture. I know Burger Time is revered in most circles, but you know what? This game sucks. Burger Time sucks. This is a game people may remember fondly. This is one case in which the memory-altering intoxication of nostalgia is abundantly clear. Good memories are a potent cocktail, and they smell like paint thinner. So Burger Time is a kind of puzzle platform game in which you play as a fat little cook named Peter Pepper. A Pete is charged with making burgers, which, you know, that isn't anything too extravagant or video gamey, uh, until you see he's being chased by walking hot dogs. That's the kicker, but unfortunately, Pete can't kick. A Pete's only recourse is his pepper shaker. He can freeze these edible enemies by shaking it. The pepper shaker, not his, you know, not his money maker. This gives him a really brief window in which to escape and continue working his culinary magic. He has to walk across each layer of each hamburger on the screen to force it to fall down a level, walking across every layer to completely assemble the burgers and then finish the stage. I know it sounds awesome, it looks awesome, and frankly, there's loads of potential in the concept. The problem is, Burger Time is almost impossible to play for any more than a few minutes thanks to some really frustrating controls and ridiculously ruthless difficulty. So all you have to do in this game is walk. I mean, Pete can't jump or anything, so you only play with the D-pad on this console port, and it's just... It's shocking to me how something so simple could possibly be done so clunky. I mean, maybe it's the soft D-pad of the Wii, maybe it's just the console translation of a game that was intended to be played with a joystick. Whatever the reason, just making Pete walk is enough to drive you crazy. He just stops moving sometimes, and not because you don't have the D-pad held down, it's because evidently he doesn't f***ing feel like it. So not only does walking stick, uh, which is more than enough to make this burger stale, uh, but the enemies are way smarter than walking beef frank should be. They corner you with ruthless efficiency, they cut you off at seemingly every path, and they make Blinky, Inky, Pinky, and Clyde look like hero hunting noobs. Only running from ghosts? Way more fun than this. Listen, I've played a lot of arcade classics, and I worked at McDonald's in high school, so I was once a professional burger assembler, if you want to call what we made there burgers. And I have to tell you, making burgers is nothing like this in real life, and even dealing with annoying bosses on power trips, greasy floors, and grill burns was more fun and less frustrating than burger time, an arcade classic I just can't get into.